Hi there. Today we're going to be doing a demonstration and we're going to use some software. It's over on the uh, Second State Organization uh, GitHub. So github.com forward slash second hyphen state and the repository name is crunw. Now crunw is a, a OCI compliant runtime for running WASI enabled WebAssembly files inside a container environment. Uh, it's based on a crun runtime. Now, what we're doing today specifically is we're going to actually run a WebAssembly executable uh, inside Kubernetes, which is um, pretty cool. So we have this procedure here. If you scroll down, you see this is all documented um, in these code blocks here. And if you keep scrolling and scrolling, you'll see there's a fair bit of code and configuration. And so what we've done is created some installation scripts. And so I'll just show you how those work. And this is a really nice way to test this out real quick. What I've done is just before we get to this area here where it says, please install the following tools and container uh, for container management and so on and so forth. Just before each one, I've just got these little mini sections here. Before you proceed, please note you can fast track the installation and get right up to this next section. So I just link to the basically leapfrogging and um, going to the next section where I've got another script, which will leapfrog you to the next section it's a lot easier than going through all of the steps manually and also having to do all that cutting and pasting and config. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we do is we go ahead and use the following uh, crunw install.sh. So what I'll do is just open that in a new window. Let's take all of that. Now, uh, it's a good time to tell you that I'm using a brand new fresh Ubuntu 20 installation. So this is um, just an Amazon EC2 instance, but it's uh, absolutely brand new. So we'll just via this file here, we might even just call it one.sh. This is our first script. Okay. And we're going to just paste in the contents of that shell script that I've written. And then what we want to do here is just make that executable. All right. And then we run that. We're about to head to this section, so I'm going to open that in a new tab. And we've got it available here for when we're ready. So while that's installing, we'll just scroll down and give you a, a brief look at uh, what's happening on that install script. So all of these steps here are all getting done, and we eventually get down to this section. The simple was the application section, and once again here we've just got a another script. So this one's called simple was the application .sh. Um, so similar process. We'll go and grab this one, run it. Um, the ultimate goal is to get down to the end where the, the last script actually runs the uh, WebAssembly inside Kubernetes. So let's go back and check on how that script's going. Yeah, all still going well. Just give that a little while. I may even pause the video um, to save your time on your end. All right, that's finished. So now we're at this next section and we have another script here. So we'll just actually go and get this script using wget. Should have done that the first time. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we sudo make that executable and then run it. So this has now run the uh, WebAssembly executable as per this work here. So all this config goes in, then we create the pod, uh, create the container, we start the container, and then we run uh, the WebAssembly. Now what we're doing is going to the next section, which is um, to manage WebAssembly programs and Docker containers side by side in Kubernetes. So this particular uh, script we've got here is called running wasm in kubernetes.sh. So let's go and double you get that. Now, of course, you can read the long version of these if you visit the repository but just for the um to keep this video short we'll just go through these real quick okay now this one is a little bit different there's a message here it says once this runs please please do not close the terminal um so even if you when you do this the the manual way which is all listed down here um when you get to the end it's saying um, don't close your terminal because you've actually got um, things running in there. And so what we want to do is just open a new terminal 
and continue on from there. I'm going to go ahead and open a new terminal in readiness for this. Okay, not quite ready to run it yet. Let's let this one finish what it's doing. So it looks like that's almost done. And so we obviously leave that window open as previously discussed. We'll pop over to this fresh window here and we're going to run the second half of this. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So we have the output, which uh, matches the expected output, which is brilliant. Uh, that is about it for the demo. So at the Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any uh, questions or uh, you're interested in learning more about this, there are a couple of places you can go. So wasmedge.org is one. And in addition to that, you can have a look at uh, secondstate.io and also, of course, the uh, Second State on GitHub. Okay, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.